very trippy um visual adventure um based around a very sort of like um esoteric um almost cosmic reality bending concept i thought that the piece really did a lot in a short amount of time i believe it was only a few minutes long but it was really um quite um an experience given the variety of visual cues um the lack of form the close-up shots of the eyes and sort of it was a really interesting stretch of him um running through sort of dead space and i felt like there was a lot of um room to have a layers of thematic interpretation and symbolism in the piece that left it open to interpretation for the part particular audience member, which I um, appreciated. I thought that it was a clearly well edited, had a great sense of rhythm that matched the sort of very uh, creepy mood and soundtrack for the piece. It ended up um, working well for me, both uh, both in the visual sense and in, in, in um, uh, sort of a, a raw emotional sense. So I thought it was um, quite well done. Utterly gorgeous and innovative. Um, it's, it's a real feast for the eyes. And I have absolutely no idea how they pulled it off. There's some really, really striking beguiling images and I think the transitions are done in a really interesting seamless way it's got such a great sense of kineticism to it um, but yeah it is it's very strange uh, animation it feels like something that's ripped from a dream or even a nightmare and I think it really captures that sense of when you're dreaming you're trying to understand what is happening what's going on and the more you try to understand the less you do I think it perfectly captures that. And it's just a really interesting, beautiful, haunting little animation. I like to praise the animation, the, the work done in the animation <clears throat> department has been absolutely brilliant. Um, the story itself is, uh, is fast. Uh, there's a fast pacing, but there's also like a kind of a double meaning behind it. Uh, we see this, the main character found in this um, this box that suddenly it just uh, um, burns, uh, completely burns the, the main character face, or leaving just a skull. It's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting thought. Um, probably it's just a, I can see a meaning in this uh, in this film. Like, don't don't take things that you're not supposed to take because something could happen. Um, it was a it was a, a nice job, um, especially the direction as well. I liked the the idea of the fast pacing toward the, all the movie. There is not even one that second, you know. So I thought that this was really cool and inventive. Um, I thought that uh, the animation style I thought was really just like nothing I've really seen before. Um, it was bizarre and just interesting and cool and very singular, and it felt uh very very tailored to this piece you know it, it felt it felt like the right style for um the story that you were depicting here i was totally along for the ride um i think visually that this was just fun to watch uh and i just yeah i just really enjoyed it um i think you did a really really nice job with this i right, like the grayscale at the beginning and how you see the distance um to where there's a planet that looks like Saturn, the Saturn ring, it might be our solar system. I just like the suggestion of that. And then how everything goes to color once the package falls off the carrying animal's back. Uh, I like the switch of power when the spaceman throws the electric ball into the package, thinking it will do something for him and the powers in favor of the little box and it chases and kills them off. That was interesting. Uh, very intriguing with the skeletal remains of the spaceman with the barcode on his forehead. I like that touch, it was very quick, uh, but that was thought provoking. And uh, it can't help but smile a little because the box uh, is a living head and has an evil grin, but with very sharp teeth. Um, so it suggests it's some sort of a consumer and it's a threat, but when he's smiling, it's hard not to laugh. This is a tiny packed, huge horror short film. Their animation technique is quite original in a monochrome style where this cube or box is, um, left out unadvertedly, inadvertently, and then someone finds it and is fed from this curious passerby unknowingly creating chaos. I just 
the implications that you can imagine are just um yeah unthinkable and it is it is a, an amazing job uh, i love i love the animation and the drawing and i also liked how the box's eyes were a bit like Mickey Mouse's eyes. I, I don't know if that's the intention, but it looked like a lot like Mickey Mouse and I, I like that that part of the overall commentary on the film. It was good. I thought their use of color was really interesting and really dynamic of having the sphere the like spheres and then um kind of using that to like trigger more color. Uh I thought the artwork and the animation was really beautiful. I really liked it. And I was just like really enthralled by it. I thought that it was like a really interesting kind of like world that they were on and like what was going on and how this like little box of, like I said, these like colored spheres were like wreaking havoc almost. Um, I really liked it. I thought it was fun. And simplistic animation at that to to tell a very impactful story about whatever this head is. People are chasing it. They're wanting it, but it's clearly something sinister. It could have many metaphors for our world. It's really, and the score is absolutely amazing. It makes it feel very high tech and futuristic while at the same time telling a very short and impactful story about sinister things lurking that we covet. And that's really what it shows is because there is a sinister feeling with this head, but people are coveting it and they're chasing after it, whatever it is. The film never really says whether it's good or bad, but from the score, you kind of feel that it's not something good, but yet people still want it, much like things in our real lives. This had some great animation. The art style, the animation was really cool. It was really, really edgy. Um, the music was was nice because it added this sense of foreboding to it. Uh, the end was surprising. I was not expecting him to get vaporized, but there you have it. He got vaporized. So yeah, it was cool. This was this was a great little short. 